You already know what it is, man. You be the underboss, President Barack Urbano, Maybach Music Group, Maybach Latin Division. Salute to the boss, Ricky Rose, self made in stores right now. Go get that. I gotta salute my brothers over at Pow TV. Cause you already know it ain't a movement no more, it's a revolution, you heard? Uh, we out here, the whole Maybach Music Latino movement. Like, how did this form together with, with you guys and uh, with Rick Ross? I mean, you know, Ross and I, we go way back. You know, we had a, a close, you know, friendship and relationship for years. So, you know what I'm saying? He just, you know, not only, you know, like, I always call him my brother from another mother, but he like, you know, right now we, we in a situation where, where he was in a position where he was like, he wanted to expand his brand and he reached out and he said, UB, let's do that thing we always talked about. We always talked about coming together and doing some things together, you know, and us touching the Latin demographic and things like that. And, uh, and he was like, I think it's about that time. So we got together like maybe like two years ago and he was like masterminding the whole thing. And he said, look, it ain't gonna be an easy ride. It's groundwork, you feel me? So we had to basically lay down all that groundwork. And then right now he got the situation with Warner Brothers. So, you know, shout out to them and, and, and Meek Mill and Pill and, and, and Wale and everybody out there because they got the self-made in stores right now. So compare the Ross from Port of Miami, since you know him for a long time, compare the Ross from Port of Miami to the Ross that you see right now. Well, I mean, he's definitely, you know, Ross has, has definitely evolved as an MC. I mean, he was always a very lyrical dude. Like, I think what he did is, after Port of Miami dropped, he kind of seen, you know what I'm saying, how the, how the music industry, you know what I'm saying? And he kind of adjusted his style, and like I said, evolved. And right now, you're getting a, a, a Ross that's really, is really genuine right now, because he's really giving you that hard edge stuff that he loves, that we love from the heart, you know what I'm saying? And he's still being lyrical with it but it's just a new swag kind of like he just brought, you know what I'm saying, a new swag to the game right now. The way he's spitting, the way he's hitting the pockets, the way he's riding them beats, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and what he's doing with Meek, Wale, Pill, the way he just developed those guys and, and, and you know, he's really on some, you know, he really on some ball shit right now. So. 2.5 Bad Mama Go Pop on, uh, you can listen to it on thatpip.com or facebook.com slash destiny with two E's at the end, MMO. Alright, so what, what can we expect from the mixtape? As far as the mixtape is concerned, um, a lot of music, a lot, a lot of it's, it's very stuff. extremely versatile. You can listen to R&B. Um, you have a lot of inspirational music. You have a lot of hip hop. It's very, very diverse. Really, really diverse. It's not like anything you've ever heard before. Believe that. <laughs> Alright, so believe that. You're you're a co-CEO of uh, the Maybach Latino brand, like. That's very original, like we don't see like a lot of ladies, you know, stepping up and saying that they have their own brand like so early. Like they usually wait till like they blow up after like some crazy commercial type style and try to bring somebody up. Like are there any obstacles to that? Um, I think the biggest obstacle to holding my position is being a woman in general because the music industry is predominantly um, run by the male species. Like I like to call them. Um, so you get a lot of you get a lot of pressure as far as that's concerned. But um, at the same time, it's really fulfilling to be able to be an example to up and coming artists as well as you know up and coming entrepreneurs and so on and so forth. Uh, so like I said, it's a blessing. In that kind of position and that kind of executive role, you feel me? But she really relishes in that role. You know what I'm saying? Like she really you know cherishes it because it's like she's been with me so long. So we've been grinding for so long as TAC. So when Ross gave us this opportunity with Maybach, it just made things so much easier because now you got the co-sign from one of the hottest artists in the hip hop game, you feel me? Like, you know, now you now you rolling with, with the you know with the winning team now. So everybody wanna just work with you. It's a lot easier than when you were just doing your independent stuff, you feel me? So she been with me since that whole independent grind. So right now this is like cake, you feel me? What we doing, what we setting up is, 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 you know, history in the making, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and like you said, it's gonna be a real, a real big thing for all Latinos worldwide. You know what I'm saying? And Latinas, Latinas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every, every, every single everybody. race in, in the yeah. entire planet. Absolutely. It's all about unity. Yeah. Like I said, no matter what age, no matter what race, no matter where you're from, it's all about unity. Yeah. So introduce yourself and let them know a little bit about the project we're working on and all that. Well, we have a, we're working on a nice mixtape. A few collabs with a few of the artists that are Chronicles in the, of Connie Corleone. Chronicles of Connie Corleone coming soon. Featuring like, collabos yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, just. I have a few collabs in there. What, what, Definitely what? looking forward to it. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to spill the beans just yet. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's a secret. <laughs> you definitely hear. Yeah, you'll be on there. <laughs> but though. you will. You will I'll hear some, 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 some voices you will recognize. That's yeah. great. Super hot. So like, 
what's your what's your influences in the uh, in your music? Oh man, growing up, Mary J. Blige. Oh my goodness, can she sing? She has been my idol my whole life. So she's been a, a main inspiration to me, motivation, everything that ends in shun in my life. Um, and she's basically the reason why. I swear, one day. I'm gonna sing with her. <laughs> I really look up to her a great lot. She's a she's very very smart and very talented. So yeah, that's. Alright, so in social networking, can, how can we find you? Like in your music and everything. Well, I'm on pretty much anywhere. Uh, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter, Reverb. Um, but the Facebook the yeah, Facebook. I'll give you my Facebook. Facebook. Uh, com slash Yami Official Music. Um, Twitter at Yami Official, Reverb Nation, uh, dot com, Yami Official Music. You're gonna find all the hot stuff right there. What they do, it's a boss lady destiny, repping Maybach Music Latino, 305hiphop.com, THC in the building. Wanna give a big, big shout out to PowTV.net. You know what I'm saying?